Hey there everyone. Today I wanted to show you Spirit Halloween's Miss Mercy. So last weekend I put together three animatronics of which she was literally the easiest. Super quick, super fast. She took me in total about 20 minutes. The longest part of her setup, there um, is a screw that goes in the back of her neck to keep her head from falling off. That literally took me the longest of the setup. Other than that, she was a breeze until I plugged her in and she didn't work. So uh, if you've ever purchase anything from Spirit Halloween, they have a service that you should reach out to for any animatronics that don't work, and that's called Dr. Zombie. That's what I did, and about five days later, they sent me a new motor. So I was teeny tiny concerned about trying to install this motor myself, but even the motor was a breeze. It was like four screws and one wire that feeds through her torso. After that, her head was spinning, and look at her go. So uh, I am a bit concerned about the longevity of this motor. You know, if I'm already having an issue, will she continue to work year after year? You know, that remains to be seen. But for now, she's working and I love it. So the other thing I wanted to show you, um, you know, if you want to customize your Miss Mercy a little bit, you could do that with her eye bandages. You could leave them down as is like this, or you could raise them up a bit to show her eyes. Or I think I'm going to do like one of each just to kind of give a best of both worlds situation. The other thing that's really cool about her um, is her elongated hands. I mean, just everything about her, the sounds, the body, everything's really creepy cool. I love it. I'm going to add her this year to my other like hospital morgue decorations. I've got a doctor, John Doe, and a body bag, and I can't wait to put them all together. So let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, see you next time. Thanks for watching.